This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 7, The Draw Loop, Part 4. The Draw Loop. Animations. An animation uses a series of pictures to create the illusion of smooth movement. Each individual picture is called a frame. You'll usually, need, you'll usually need to see at least several frames a second for the movement to look smooth. One way, one way you may have seen this is with a flip book, like the picture on the right, but movies or GIFs work the exact same way. Huh, I didn't know that. Uh, the draw loop. Function draw. Okay. To create an animations, you'll need a way to keep drawing frame after frame. In Game Lab, this is done using the draw function. The way programmers run in Game Lab, the programs run in Game Lab is one, every piece of code outside of draw, two, keep running the code inside draw over and over 30 times a second. You'll need the way programs run in game. Okay, so it runs all the other code first, I guess. Each time the code Inside draw runs, it's like a new page of a flipbook by making small changes to what's drawn each time. You can use Game Lab to create animations. This program sets the fill color and turns off the stroke outside, no stroke, fill, teal, uh, the draw loop. Then it runs inside over and over. That way everything's teal without an outline. Cool. Okay. Um, and it will be at random locations because they put random numbers for X and Y. Great. Draw loop with sprites. Variable sprite equals sprite. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, okay. So we got some code there. This program creates a sprite and sets its animations outside of the draw loop. Then it repeatedly gives the sprite a new X location. Yep. With the random number and redraws the white background the sprite to make it move. Oh no, redraws the white, yeah, background and the sprite to make it move. Huh. Cool, I'm excited to actually use this ourselves. Let's keep going. 